Here's my Arduino controlled multimeter interfaced with MATLAB via serial. I will open up the main M file here, multimeter.m. When I open up the file, we have a choice of a voltmeter, ohmmeter, ammeter, angle meter, and a temperature meter. First, we'll do voltmeter. You're prompted to enter a duration of seconds in which you want to capture data. In this case, we'll say 30 seconds. You can see that the voltage is zero. Now, if I take a 1.5 volt AA battery here, you can see that the voltage reads 1.57 volts. Now we'll try ohm meter. Now, once again, we have to enter a duration in seconds in which to capture data. We'll say 30 seconds. The resistance in ohms is now infinite because there's no resistor connected. You can see that the reading is 98 ohms because we have a 100 ohm resistor. We'll take this out, change it. And it's a bit delayed, but now you can see that we have a 200 ohm resistor. It's reading 189. Next we will do the angle meter. The angle meter gives you an option whether you want to capture the data graphically or using text. We will do graphic here. Enter in a duration of which to capture data, say 20 seconds, and it will open up a plot. Now if I take the Arduino board and tip it, you'll see that it actually changes the angle. There's two lines here which represent the X and Y angle, and it's plotted over time in seconds. Next we'll do the temperature meter. Again, enter a time in which to capture data, say 30 seconds. It outputs the temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. Now, if I go to the Arduino board and grab the temperature sensor, which is an LM35 temperature sensor, we'll start to see the temperature increase. It's going to 71, 74, 77 degrees, 78 degrees. 